In Underhanded, the new novel by Jim Billman, Sonny Kristoff shares his adventures during the changing times after World War II with a refreshing inside-out look at history. Written from the perspective of men's fast-pitch softball, this was the time when baseball's little brother became America's most popular team sport. But unlike baseball, its imperfect dimensions brought about its demise. Order Underhanded on Amazon. Underhanded by longtime Southeast Iowa native Jim Billman. Available now. March is a muddy, sloppy month, especially in cattle feedlots. Too much mud can affect animal productivity on Successful Farming Radio. Successful Farming Radio, providing information farmers need in the field, in the shop, and in the office. Committed to growing your business in agriculture. Get the latest ag news, markets, weather, and more when you sign up for today's news from Successful Farming. Register at agriculture.com slash newsletter for today's news, the free Successful Farming e-newsletter. Once a day, you'll get an email packed with relevant news hitting the ag industry online and around the nation, along with the three big things happening today. Visit agriculture.com slash newsletter to subscribe to today's news from Successful Farming. Are you looking for new advanced technology for your farm operation? Need some advice on managing your farm or tips on finding the best machinery prices? You'll find all this and more in Successful Farming Magazine. Subscriptions are available online at agriculture.com. Visit agriculture.com and complete your subscription to Successful Farming Magazine today. Moisture, winter precipitation, freezing and thawing, and spring rains combine with what's already on the ground to create mud in the feedlot. Cattle don't deal well with mud. They're large, heavy animals, and when you weigh a thousand pounds or more, walking through a few inches of mud gets tiring after a while. Grant Duell is an extension veterinarian at Iowa State University. He says the sheer effort of meandering through the muck affects their productivity. That's going to impact how often they go to feed, how often they go to water. Once that mud starts getting up about four inches or more, so four inches would be about up to their fetlocks, then it becomes discouraging for them. So A, it's sapping some of their energy just trying to wade through it, and B, they get tired of doing it, and so they just don't go to the feed bunk as often. And so we're going to see those weight gains drop as we deal with that mud. Be sure there's a firm surface for them to stand on, such as a concrete apron around the feed bunk. Ongoing maintenance of the pen surfaces is the key to managing mud. Getting them in shape in the fall when you have a chance so that we don't have a lot of organic debris that's going to hold water. Getting those scraped goods so that when we do get water, it can run out of the pen. Good design of those pins so that we have some slope so that the water does flow and not just sit there. Getting holes repaired so if you've got some places where the cattle have dug in, particularly at the back of the feed bunker by the water tanks, we want to get those filled in. Mud can also create health issues. It carries pathogens that can give cattle hoof problems such as foot rot. I'm Jody Henke. Learn more about managing mud in the feedlot at agriculture.com. <laughs> 